Welcome to Valkoria, a dainty little town built on a rugged and wild landscape full of craggy peaks and an ocean throughout. It's a really pretty map. I found it on the um, the mod store, the, the official mod store this time around. <laughs> the last time I recorded a City Skylines 2 video, I was still using the Thunder Store. That is no more. I am now using the built-in mod tools for City Skylines 2 under the Paradox Mods option here. Let me just show you what I'm working with. We're going to look at Zoning Toolkit in just a couple of minutes here. I have a playset set up, Essential Decorating Mods, and here's what I'm running. Land Value Overhaul, Anarchy, Historical Start, some maps, Alice Uskumru Bay, Wanaka, New Zealand, Kexford, Magnolia County by CPP, the map I'm uh, demoing here, Volcoria, Traffic, Asset Icon Library, another map, Kexford, some themes, Arid Theme, map, or Seaside Serenity Map Theme, Mediterranean Theme, Extra networks and areas, better bulldozer, 529 tiles, find it, plop the growables, extended road upgrades, preserve photo mode, desert map theme, achievement enabler, map texture replacer, zoning toolkit, we're going to take a closer look at this one today, like I said, line tool, internationalization everywhere, tree controller, move it, extra lib, extra landscaping tools, unified icon library, and water features. So I'm rocking a lot of mods. Just looking at the mods, like the most popular mods, I have pretty much all of them installed. Well, really all of the most popular ones are installed here. It's still the early days of the mod store, so there's nowhere near as many mods available as were on City Skylines 1. It is worth pointing out, however, that there are actually starting to show up some custom assets which I haven't messed around with too much because I it's buggy and I kept running into some issues with it. But like, check this out. Mini elementary school asset. It's a new school. So there's some stuff um, coming into the mod store. It's not officially supported since the only reason you, well, the only way you can install those, I believe is with like a dependent mod, which is, yeah, this asset packs manager. This mod breaks my game. Um, not sure why. Hopefully in a week or two I can revisit it, but at the moment I can't use it, so I can't really use any of these custom assets. That said, today I wanted to focus on one mod only, and that is the zoning toolkit. So what this mod lets you do is control the zoning on your roads, which is pretty simple, <laughs> but sometimes the most simple mods are the best. So. Um, if you're like me, you want to have more granular control over where zoning squares show up on roads. And I'm going to show you some examples of how I use this in just a moment. Um, but like that's kind of the, the thought behind it. So one, one really good example is let's say you want to put down some row houses. Um, and you don't want them to grow you only want them to grow in one direction similar to what i'm doing here right you don't really want them to be on the side street you want them to all be facing the same way so normally to do that what i would do is put in the draw it in like this but leave the edges so that way it won't grow in on the edges and then once it fills in, I can draw the edges and then the whole thing is good to go. That's fine. It's really not that difficult of a workaround, but with the zoning mode options mod, you can actually control this a little bit better. So how this works is you'll click on zoning tool and then you're going to choose your mode options here. So right now it's set to default. If I click a road that it does nothing because like this is just how the game interpreted this is the way zoning should work and it changes nothing. However, if I change it to let's say none and then I click on Bedford Street, what's going to happen is you're going to see all of these squares disappear and you can't see them disappear because they're still here off of either strawberry or daffodil, but the um, 
the squares off of Bedford on both sides are actually gone. So if I were to come in and place row housing like this, it would actually grow in only off of Strawberry and Daffodil Streets here. It would not grow in on Bedford because there's not actually any um, zones off of that road now. So let me go back to default with the zoning tool, default, click Bedford again. Oops, I need the zoning tool back, come back. Okay, we'll go default. You can see that comes back. Another way that I like to use this is sometimes I will have a couple of roads intersecting and I don't like the way that the game has defaulted the zones. So this actually is a really good example here again. Strawberry Street has zones coming off of this curvature and Bedford Street loses its zoning because Strawberry is stealing it. So what I could do is uh, what I was already doing, which is just to turn off zoning here. But no, that's actually not what I want, is it? No, I want the opposite. So what I really want to do is turn off Strawberry here. And then I can turn Bedford on here. So now I have more zoning off of Bedford and Strawberry is not actually zoning. You can get a little more granular by creating road segments where you want them. Like for example, I let's say I want um, the there you go the I want the zones here now, right? So I just um, let me turn that back. Oh shoot, I needed to keep that. Actually need that road segment to be there in order for that to work so you may not you may need to do like some kind of tricky things like that but you have a little bit better control over what's going on when you're using the zoning mode options so this one has four options left right default none let me just show you how they work I think I mean I've already kind of covered a lot of it but let's just take a closer look so if I choose left and I click on Bedford it's going to um, keep the left zone, but get rid of the right. Now if I click the opposite, now it's keeping the right, getting rid of the left. So now the only zoning is coming up off of Daffodil here. Uh, I can of course do default, which puts back to the way that it was when you started. Although it doesn't always work because the zoning can be a little weird in this game sometimes. Or I can turn everything off. Pick your poison. You have a lot of control over it now though. The way I used to do this, if you've watched some of my previous videos, is I would use the uh, road services and I would build like retaining walls or keys on off the roads and that would also disable zoning. You can see I clicked that and then the zones just went away, right? So. Um, that was how I used to do this. Now I no longer need to do that. I can just use the zoning tool and get rid of it. I don't want those road tools up though. Wow, I'm struggling. <laughs> okay, so zoning tool. Why does it insist on doing that? Let's try this again. Default, zone tool, none. I don't know why it's now insisting on bringing up this menu. You do have to keep in mind as you're using these mods, like these are essentially the mod store. It's in, it's in beta. Like <laughs> you might run into some oddities just like you just saw. So heads up, but I don't want to go so far as saying, and I know there's a lot of controversy about this game right now. <laughs> it has been really since it came out. I think it has the bones to be a great city builder, honestly. Um, that said, simulation isn't its strong suit. I don't think it ever was not the first game though, either. The strong suit was, it was an awesome city painter. And I think City Skylines 2 is going to be even better than the original eventually, but it's going to take some time. More time than we wanted, no doubt. But 
we'll get there eventually, I suspect. There's already a ton of mod activity. I think we're a couple of months away from official, official, non-beta mod support and asset support as well. So, it'll be here before you know it. And then we can really start to do some super cool stuff. But, in the meantime, if you just want to scratch the itch and build a little bit, like I've been doing over here, you can do so. And there are some tools to help you. And honestly, they already improve the game a lot. They add a lot to it. So, seriously, check it out. Definitely recommend it. Thanks so much. And, uh... Great day. Ciao.